hello beautiful people of the cellar how are y'all today it's been a long day okay and so um i wanted to talk about two things two just two okay just two um how long that will take i have no idea this is my workout hair even though i, didn't, I thought i was going to be able to work out today but it's been a go day okay that's a little bit why um, i'm doing this a little later but then when i think about it I think that's about when I be dropping them. Can't remember. Because if I start trying to, you know, whatever. So, <clears throat> the first thing that I want to talk about, wrote it on my little pad. Uh, the first thing that I want to talk about is the three things, right? How you laugh, how you um, cry, and how you sound when you have relations, right? Um... I have a family member who I remember, I was driving and remembered this. I thought I'm going to talk about that. Um, not them, but that, that I realized a pattern. And that is a pattern that a lot of people have because after I observed one person, it's like, let me look forward to everybody else. Because <laughs> I used to really sit and listen and watch people, right? And see, you know, uh, do my um, anal analysis on people <sighs> to see, you know, I wonder if... And how they respond to certain, you know, pay attention to how they respond to certain things, what um how people interact with one another, what 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 ticks some people off and not others, how people respond to the same thing, like two different people or more that respond to the same thing. So that was interesting to me. Um, as just a, a lot of people stuff was interesting to me. And what I um learned about was that when people laugh, they sound the same way that they um sound they have a a, a similar sound that they make when they are having relations don't ask me how i know that part and then how um it's nothing extremely bad i'm just nosy basically and when they are extremely angry because i remember my family member um making the sound that i started paying attention to when someone had passed and it was like an anger emotion um like they couldn't believe it or what have you, but it was that same sound that I've heard from um, them in other spaces. So I was like, okay, so how can you really tell? Because you know, with babies, right? We learned early that uh, even from babysitting, right? When I was younger, you learn that, you know, they have a certain sound and you, you have to learn their sound and what that sound means, right? Um, but overall, start. it may be important for you to start paying attention. You could even pay attention to how your parents, the connection that you have with your parents when it comes to those three things as well, um, especially if they have become older and um, it's changed over the years so that you can kind of know what you are looking forward to. Because um, what I've learned is that we will not be able to separate ourselves from certain points, parts of our bloodline, right? Some people have had it so bad growing up that they were just like, you know what? I don't want to be nothing like those people. They go and try to make up a whole fairy tale life of who they are and how they are and all the things, right? Which reminds me of someone who moved to another state and became someone totally different, left three of their kids out of eight. No, four of their kids out of um, eight. And began to live a new life like they didn't have any children as a female and they took on a new name they took on a new birthday like they took on a whole new everything and um, when people became suspicious about it that's when you know they would kind of move around and um not answer certain questions or what have you even though there were certain times that they would there were certain times that they would let stuff slip so when we embrace certain things right because if you run from the truth too long you're going to find yourself still in the truth and stuck in it right and that's where you find people caught up in a cycle because they're so adamant about getting rid of one aspect that it's really not even a, a, a dangerous part it's really not something that is so complicated or so um irrational or um demeaning or what have you right it's a laugh it's an emotion it's a cry it's a, a intimate sound right Unless, you know, someone went through some type of tr trauma themselves from the person that they have similarities to. I'm not a therapist or a counselor. That's what they got going on, okay? I'm not talking to those people. If you are one of those people, I'm not telling you to be okay with it. I remember, as a matter of fact, 
I remember when I first got into um, the Love and Light um, movement, we're going to call it. And um, I was at first one of those people that it happened for a reason and you got to look at it like it happened for a reason. That my ability, right, to discern that that is not necessarily true because certain um things may have transpired and maybe the people around the person may have needed to be aware of something or go through something but the transference of evil the transference of um stopping someone in their life's process because that's what that does when there's any type of sexual trauma or um, issues that puts a person you stop somebody from really being able to be open to the world and learn and experience the world in a way that will allow for them to grow and continue to play. Calm down. So I was one of those people like it may. And then when I would, when I told, I remember t telling someone trying to explain it to them in that space. And I was told that's a no strongly in my ear. Like that is a no. Because I have come to understand that some things happen that were not in a divine alignment. There are some shifts and some changes that may have happened. And as you all know, um, a lot of people who were not going to be easily programmed, a lot of people who weren't going to be easily placed into a box, they are targeted. The entire bloodline is targeted. Sometimes they are targeted different because that's why you have some people who experience sexual trauma, traumas and the like when it comes to the bloodline. They are the only person, they were the first person in their bloodline to go through that, to taint the bloodline. That's why there needs to be certain practices and procedures available um, for people to go ahead and administer the necessary um, cures because if you can be cured in many ways like <clears throat> getting that erased removed repaired on a more in-depth level than just talking about it getting drugs for it doing drugs for it having to learn the hard way and still having to take that to your grave calm down so that's that but I was one of those people and, and it's no because they they usually the thing that they used to say was it was for the person to learn well they probably still say it now I don't know I don't know I don't goddamn know because I don't pay attention to what a lot of folks got to say, especially in this day and age, because I've seen over the years how things have become so tainted, which is going to lead to my next thing that I'm talking about, about being tainted or, um, you know, being more aware. Excuse me. But um, they would say things like. The, the 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 child came here to experience it, that that was part of their soul contract the person came here to do this that now that was part of their soul contract and they had they were meant to learn from this knowledge i believe in interference i believe in uh targeting i believe in um and and y'all know i don't express a lot of my beliefs i discuss a lot of things with you all um i don't go in depth with a lot of what it is that i believe i don't because i'm not here to discuss my beliefs because i'm not trying to get you to believe what i believe but on that end right there i don't get i don't care i'm not gonna argue with none of y'all about that y'all can look at it however you want to that's your life but i'm not going to uh discuss that i'm not because it's just too many sick people out here. There's too much, um, too many, um, ir there's a lot of irresponsibility that has taken place over the past 20 years. And it has a lot to do with um, the laxness. People becoming more lax in their lives. And it's still happening. It's not stopping. Um, I remember growing up, as a matter of fact, um, I've discussed this before on the channel. And I was telling the ladies that, you know, you don't let nobody keep your kids. I don't care how much you love a dude or a girl. They do not need to be alone with your children. They don't need to be giving your child nothing and all the things. Give it to me and I'll give it to them. Some people said that, oh, that's um, that's just going too far. Blah, blah, blah. Bitch, I'd rather be safe than sorry trying to figure it out. Um, because I grew up, um, um, there was this lady that lived downstairs from us in this place that we lived. Um, I had to be about 12 or 13. And she had a son and a daughter. 
she would drink a lot. You would see her boyfriend here and there, but you wouldn't see him a lot. The kids were maybe about eight and nine. They were close in age. I remember that they were close in age, but I'm short, so I can't really say how old these kids were, but I know that they were younger than me. I do know that. And so what happened was um, the whole while she was allowing the boyfriend to take these children because a lot of women, I don't care what nobody say, I've seen too much of this in my life to not know that this does happen. If you see four or more, you know it's happening a whole lot because that's a lot to see in one zip code. Hope. You know what I'm saying? And that goes into conditioning. That goes into perversions. Calm down. You can't talk like that to these people. This video probably won't ever go live on YouTube. Had to put a live on my website. So, how I found out was my mama got off work and came home. She was like, Look at this shit. They made the news. Our neighbors made the news. The kids, they had the kids up there. They had the kids up there um, testifying. The mother did go to jail, thank goodness, because uh, a lot of times, you know, they don't go ahead and find fault. Yes, lock that bitch up. The mother went to jail because she had something to do with it, right? And plus, you got to remember, I'm telling you something else, too. It's game for the young girls in her. I told y'all before, don't um, just let nobody be getting by your own. If you're going to do these things, you do it You do it on your own account. Get your own drugs, your own drinks, whatever your vice is, pay for your own vices. And the reason that I say that is because I remember growing up and um, seeing where people, I heard, I would hear the, <laughs> the older broads were, you know, my go-to child. I just love hearing them talk. And so um, the older broads would be like, he ain't doing nothing but feeding that hold them drugs. He ain't doing nothing but keeping that hole high. So you can't, um, you want to be mindful of that because sometimes people will put their, put the woman to sleep and then go and mess with the kids, right? Or, um, you know, of, of course, abuse has a lot to do with it too because if they'll beat your ass, they'll probably beat your kids' ass and then do stuff to your children. I know many of you may have watched the Tyler Perry documentary and he didn't really, he tapped on it, but he didn't really go into it. But his stepdad may have allegedly did something to him right and you got to remember when you bring when you have people around your children you pay attention to how your children interact with them but you also need to know your children right while you're getting to know the person as a, a um i was about to say as an older woman i'm gonna be able to say that soon enough but that's why i've been watching the golden girls and everything i'm calm down i ain't in no hurry y'all because i got stuff to do but shout out to the girls um, that I'm, I'm on my way home. And y'all going to have to stay right where y'all live till I get there. Okay? So we can have tea and crumpets. So I'm coming right to y'all house. But because uh, they just, I like them. Especially the ones that still got that gleam. They still have this gleam about them that is so, is so innocent. There's an innocence about them that as long as the eyes still look young, they just seem, seem so full of life. And it's like, I'm not an ageist, so y'all know that. I'm not a sexist or ageist or nothing like that. But I am a love bug when it comes to really um, connecting with the most high and really sharing love, being of love, and taking care of um, the energy sources in your pod and, and connecting with like minds, etc., etc., et al. But um, the broads would be like, you know, don't don't let nobody uh, feed you nothing because that that motherfucker over there feed just feeding her ass, right? Okay. So, what is the other thing that goes with that? Before I move to this next thing that had to do with, you know, um, information, the path, right? So that's that. I believe I'm done. Yeah. All right. So the other thing real quick, I need for y'all, when y'all do y'all face, I need to do y'all neck too. Okay. I think I was neglecting my neck for a little while. I put the little, you know, neck cream on it or whatever, but I wasn't steaming my neck. I wasn't rubbing it in on my deco decollete. Okay. Um, but you know, whatever. I was neglecting my neck, my neck and my back. Okay. So what's the other thing? I wanted to segue into this, but I missed my mark when I said that's the other thing I want to talk about. So someone commented the other day, which is a very, um, that um, com made a comment the other day on uh, one of the reads that I dropped, the archive reads from y'all stuff, okay? And um, the young lady said, is this for intuitives or just for people in general? 
um i forgot how i responded i probably have to go look at it to make sure but i just was like maybe we need to maybe i need to find out um i know i said maybe it's not for you period like that right because if you um need some type of clarity about what type of reading it is right then this may not be the reading for you right because where's this question coming from and she was like well no i'm an intuitive and i thought that this may like is there a difference between intuitive and personal reads um she said some more stuff i should have pulled it up right when i'm not prepared um and then you can go look at i think it's a cancer video or something like that taurus or cancer one of them and anyways um she was um she really i asked her after that i was like well do you um i was like eight most people are intuitive right most people are intuitive um some of them um are aware some are not right some are awake and some are not some are um, at the forefront some are not some are um operating with that intuition in different um, ways than others cool at the end of the day everything is person everything is has to do with everyday mundane things because that's part of honing your gift and your craft as well as you know help someone that can help to be a guide on the side to help you to maneuver through some very small challenges or obstacles that you just need some type of affirmation um confirmation validation you just need a little one two something because what i've learned is that's why i have my uh, service mark with um, emerging intuitives um senior intuitives and entrepreneurial intuitives because the emerging intuitives um, are still learning. They are still, you know, becoming more familiar with what it is that they are doing. Um, what does this mean in this world that they've awakened to? Um, what does this mean with their gifts or what have you? So a lot of what goes on, those are the only labels that we have here for me and my business uh, to identify exactly who I'm dealing with. Emerging intuitives doesn't mean that your gift isn't strong. It just means that you um, possibly just um, got into this side of things and trying to figure it out. It's the equivalent of um, uh, when you start working with, um, like that young lady told me, I don't, I don't get into all that. Um, she said that she's uh, with the divine feminine and doing things with the divine feminine. But she was like, I don't get into um, no sage and no crystals and none of that. I don't get into none of that, no spirits, no nothing like, like that. And in the same breath, she goes, but something was holding me down in my sleep. Right? So the emerging intuitives, that's what she would be, right? An emerging intuitive because that's one of the um, things that allow me to be able to identify an emerging intuitive versus a senior intuitive, right? It's not about the gift. It's about what you have done to um, really cultivate and refine the gift as well as um, master the different realms right because when it comes into self mastery it has a lot to do with those different realms these are parts of you in different elements that um create um who you are in this world but also has you to broaden your horizons when it comes to your spirituality as well and so then that moves into my next um a segue in, into initiates right so if you've talked to a number of people right because if you've talked to a number of mentors or teachers or people who um, have a lot of um, esoteric knowledge or what have you and a lot of people go to them and come to them right if you talk to them they have their own ways of um, allowing people into their maybe their schools they have a lot of different ways there's a multitude of ways that they work with people to assist them on their path right the main thing about that is oftentimes people want more information that they are perfect prepared for I've had people come to me um, in the past and they would um, be like you know they want to be under my tutelage I got the in I got the um, I was gonna say inclination but I got the information that they have something that they want to know they they have something that they want to learn but they don't know what that is they haven't made it to the space where they're even really open to what they believe that what it is that they want what they believe they want to learn they just know that um you have information that they could possibly use in order for them to grow in what it is that they are doing 
this work and many people will tell you this work is not something that you can go and read about this is not work that um for instance if i tell you that if I read for you and tell you that this is what you need to work on, this is what you're going to need to give your attention. Me and my Virgo ass, right? I'm a stickler about that, right? You can come back and tell me, oh, I did it. And now I'm awesome and amazing. And now I'm seeing all of these things. And I'm just going to look like grasshopper. You know what I mean? Um, because I'm, I'm very firm about not doing too much where it's not necessary you know what i mean so maybe you should be mindful of that too when it comes to people pleasing possibly or sharing information um you want to really ask questions in, when it comes to sharing information is this something that i should share with this person what should i say right give me the, the ears to hear the mouth to speak on the things that i need to say because it can get tricky um in order to, that's why y'all know my favorites is on the mountain, not no bad way. My favorites are on the mountain floating. And so many of the yogis who were going to, um, a lot of people were turned around that went up there thinking that um, they could be taught or they can go sit up there with the yogis. They get turned around. Number one, it's a long journey just to climb up there. And you have to go through all of these um, different obstacles because the yogis do cause <laughs> issues with you coming up the mountain <laughs> that's the shit i do i ain't gonna even hold you like nah if you really want to get up here let me see how you use your intuition when i throw this dragon at you you think it's a real dragon don't you okay get your sword ho so and you need to be able to make it with your mind make your mind make the sword with your mind mm, mm, mm. okay but uh yeah so a lot of people don't get to make it that far that's why you don't have so many stories about you don't have five and six hundred people talking about they went up there on the mountain it don't be that many right or maybe some people in the other ten chat i don't know but um it, it in order to get to the space where you are allowed to sit at the knee because that also comes with a certain amount of respect as well right and so i noticed that in this day and age like even with that question the person asked about the intuitive versus personal like is this intuitive or is this personal like i told at the end of what i said I said, maybe I should ask you, what is your definition of intuitive? Because I, I have come to also learn that 